speed versus velocity. So let us compare the speed and velocity. The speed is defined as distance by time. Velocity is defined as displacement by time. This is only magnitude. Velocity describes magnitude and direction. Hence, speed is a scalar quantity, whereas velocity is a vector quantity. The units for speed are kilometer per hour and meter per second and units for velocity generally are meter per second. The average speed is defined as total distance by time taken. V average is equal to S by T. The average velocity is defined as initial velocity plus final velocity by 2. V average is equal to U plus V by 2 in arithmetic mean of initial velocity and average velocity. Average speed can never be 0 whereas average velocity since it depends on the displacement can be 0. Let's see an example to understand the differentiations between speed and velocity. Let us take an example wherein a boy is starting from his house to a shop which is located 100 meters from his house. He takes around 50 seconds to cover this distance. Now see, in the first instance, when the boy moves from home to shop, speed of the boy is distance traveled by time taken. The distance is 100 meters and time taken is 50 seconds which is 52 so 2 meters per second is his speed. And velocity of the boy is displacement by time which is 100 meters. We need to specify a direction here so the shop is located towards east from his house. Hence, velocity of the boy's displacement by time and 100 meters towards east divided by 50 seconds, which is 51s and 52s, 2 meters per second towards east, since velocity must have a direction. Now let us take the second case wherein when the boy moves from home to shop and back home the speed of the boy in this case is he traveled 200 meters which is 100 meters from home to shop plus 100 meters from shop to home divided by 100 seconds 50 seconds from home to shop plus 50 seconds from shop to home. So which will be 100 ones, 100 twos, 2 meters per second. Velocity of the boy is the displacement which is from home to shop it is 100 
and shaft home is 100. Whereas the time taken is 50 plus 50, which is 0 by 100 meters per second, nothing but 0 meters per second. So the velocity can be 0 sometimes when the initial position is the same as final position. When initial position of moving object is equal to final position of moving object.